Hey there, it's Scott, startatherapypractice.com. I hope you're having a great day today. Are you overwhelmed? Do you ever feel overwhelmed by your private practice, by starting a practice? Sure, it's not uncommon, but often being overwhelmed is not by having too much stuff to do. It's being overwhelmed by not knowing what to do next. What's my next best move? What should I be focusing on? That's how we get overwhelmed. So we all have a to-do list, right? So I have actual a written to-do list. I have a calendar. I have email. I have sticky notes. I work off of all of that, and I'm sure you do too. The format is the first thing. What format do you choose? Do you choose digital? Do you use a notebook to-do list? What do you use? I'm curious. I use a physical notebook to have a to-do list. Now, I used to use the Todoist app, and I like that app. It's a good app. And Google has a free to-do list. Actually, if you go to Google Calendar and go to the right side on the desktop, there's a to-do list. Uh, there's also Google Keep over there. Google has some great features, so use those. I've used Evernote. So determine what your best method for keeping up with a list is, with a to-do list. I like a physical notebook because I'm an OT. I like to scratch things out, and I like to write things down. That's just me. I'm an OT. So then... After you have your to-do list format, whatever that is, triage that list because you can't get it all done. What's the best thing to work on next? So what I like to do is early in the morning or the evening before the next day, go through my list and triage it and say, what's the first thing I need to work on? Either tomorrow morning or this morning when I get to the clinic or when I start my day, what's the best thing? What's the first thing I need to work on? And then I go from there. And then usually my to-do list is pared down to no more than three items. Number one, number two, number three. And that's what I focus on. So how are you going to triage what's the next best thing to work on? Because that's what's important. That's what it's going to take. So take time every day in the morning or the evening before. Triage your to-do list and say, this is what I'm going to focus on today. Number one, number two, number three. Keep it to no more than five or six tasks because you probably won't even get three or four done. So triage your day. Don't get overwhelmed. Being not overwhelmed is knowing what to do next. All right. So I have a podcast coming up on how to start a therapy practice. So go to startatherapypractice.com backslash webinars. And you can sign up for that free webinar coming up. Also, be sure to subscribe to the podcast. Guess what it's called? Start a therapy practice. All right, if you have any questions, email me, scott at startatherapypractice.com. Godspeed to you and your practice.